I'm Patrick Bailey with whiteboardcoder.com. Today is January 27th, 2021. And in this video, I'm going to be tweaking my PFSense firewall router to slow down my internet connection because I'm about to go over my data cap this month. Okay, so here is my current issue. So with my current internet provider, uh, they give me a, a data cap of 1.2 terabytes, which seems like an enormous sum. And it is. It's a lot, a lot. Uh, but I've seen over the months, I've been getting closer and closer to that data cap. Everyone's at home. Everyone's watching Hulu. Everyone's watching Netflix, Disney Plus, whatever, YouTube. It is just all adding up and classes and teleconference. And so this month is the first month I think we're going to go over the data cap. So I thought, well, let me see what's an easy way to fiddle with PF sense to, to uh, figure out how to kind of slow this down. So basically slow down my internet uh, before I start just cutting things off or, you know, targeting things or I don't know. I don't know. So this is my first thought. Just kind of slow things down. So um, going over some quick links and notes just to let people know. I've put a couple of other videos out here on PFSense. I I have, you know, PFSense is my firewall router. And if you're watching this, you probably know what PFSense is. I do have it installed an APU 2C4. I did a video about the force. It's a little dedicated device I have downstairs. Also, I did another video because I have a private LAN and a public line in my house. So basically I have a private thing that I use for my own stuff. And then I have a uh, Wi-Fi wi router that's plugged in on its own LAN that I allow you know guests to log into and whatnot. So I have two different LANs. So it's just something to account for if people have that. Um, okay, also I use a lot of notes from this. I'll put a link in the show notes, how to limit bandwidth in PFSense. A lot of good information there. In fact, that's mostly what I used. Um, also here I'll put a link to the actual traffic shapers uh, documentation for PFSense. And also, one thing I'm not going to cover in this video, I'm going to slow down the LANs. I'm not going to slow down the WAN, the access from my out to my internet. I'm just going to act, slow down my LANs to the internet. If you want to slow down everything, which I did myself, I would recommend going and watching this guy's video. In fact, I'd recommend a lot of his videos for PFSense. Uh, Lawrence Systems, he does a great job. He knows exactly what he's talking about. Uh, but with that, let's go over my setup. So currently... Uh, I've turned everything. I've turned what I my limiters off, so we're starting uh, raw here. So if I run a speed test, uh, and one of the best places to get a speed test, go to Google.com, search for speed test, run the speed test, and I should be getting something like 300. Uh, and now one thing I have to say to all this, I may give up on this and just pay for unlimited access. And in fact, I'm probably 50-50 on that. I may just go unlimited and just call it good because we keep we're all using more and more data these days so but it's good to learn this stuff okay there we go 300 uh down nine up and also on my um i have uh, my phone here i'm on my public network at home here and so we'll see how fast we go there we'll run that real quick looks like i'm getting the 50s so I won't go over too much details, but that's my public LAN. It's getting about 50. In theory, it can do 300. Same thing. It's just for, for some reason, it's going a little slow right now. Okay, so now I've already logged into my PFSense, and so now I want to do a few things. So the first thing to do is go to Traffic Shapers. So click on Traffic Shapers. Okay, and then from here, you want to go to Limiters. And I've already set up some limiters here uh, that I set up with my other guys, uh, but here I'll just set up some new ones just for this. So I will go down here and say, let's see. First, you need to click on enable. You want to enable this and then name it as something that's obvious. So I'll say uh, in limit, in limit, uh, 10 megabytes, 10 megabits. And I'll come down here, I'll set it to 10 and change to megabits and then call that good. Boom. Oh, you know, uh, oh. I already made that. Let me, let me make it for this video. So I'll call it video. Video for the Okay. I'll call it video. So it's obvious. Video. In limit 10 megabytes. We got 10. None, none, none. Description. Okay. Save. Save it again. There it is. Video in limit. Okay. And then we'll have a new limiter. Because you need two. One for up, one for down, basically. So I'll say video. Oops. Video. Out. Limits. And we'll say five, we'll say uh, two megabit for this test. And we'll say two megabits, boom, save it. And then apply the changes. 
Now we need to go set up some rules in, in the firewall. So go to firewall, go to rules. And then for my, myself, I have two lands. You may only have one. I've got a private land and a guest land. So first we'll do the private land. And what I'll do here is I've, I've already, here's my rule I made before, but I did uh, disable it. So it's, no, it's not running right now. So I'll add a new rule. So click on add. We'll say pass to private land, IP4. Uh, change from TCP to any. You know, do any there. And source, I want any and any. So my idea here is I want to limit everybody who's on my private land to 10 and 2 in this case. So they can download 10, upload 2. Uh, but that's per device. That's kind of nice in a way. You know, I'm not, I'm limiting each person's pipe, but not the whole. So everyone actually gets their own 10 and 2. You know, as long as I can support that. Right now I'm doing 300. So in that essence, I could support that pretty well. So for N, uh, it's always, I always get this backwards now. Okay, so N, so we'll say video out, boom, and then we'll say video in, hopefully I did that the right way, and then we'll hit save, and then apply the change, and now when you apply the change, it might take it a second or two uh, for it to fully complete and become um, updated. So we'll come back here. Hopefully it's fixed. It's set up now. Now if I run a test, hopefully, boom, there we go. I'm only getting 10. Only getting 10 and 2. There we go, 10 and 2. Now, if I go run a test on my public WAN, my public, public LAN, which I did not change. I didn't change my public. So my public is still going very fast. So that is working exactly how I want to. Well, at what I, for what I've set up. So now I would do the same thing. I would go to my guest LAN. I would hit add because now I want to change this one. And I would say pass guest, uh, do any. Come down here and click on advanced and then go down here and say uh, limit out, limit in, hit save, and then apply the changes here. And again, we should see the same once it gets through, I run a test. We should see, there we go. So now, boom, I'm getting slowed down there. Now, uh, this may or may not solve my problem because really what I'm all, all I'm doing is saying, hey, I'm limiting everyone's access. If I do something like this, a 10 and a 2 or a 10 and a, a, 10 and a 5, that basically says every individual attached gets their own 10 and 5 as long as we're not saturating the whole. So technically, people could be watching, if everyone's still watching videos all the time or doing this, I can still Definitely hit that 1.2 terabyte. Definitely, definitely. Um, but this might be enough where there's different, uh, you know, it, it could be some of these video streaming services. Hey, if, if, I, if, I'll, if I'll get more, I'll send more. So maybe just toning it down a little bit might work. And so that might fix me pretty well. I don't, I don't know. But also what I am also in addition doing for this run is I'm also changing my overall speed. So I'm going down and following the video. Follow, you know, follow this, follow this guy's video verbatim. I did his video, went through it, and set up my WAN connection. Okay, my battery cut out there for a minute. So, um, what I need to do, uh, what I also did, and I would suggest doing, if, you, if you're doing something similar to what I'm doing, probably adjust your WAN speed too, so your connection out to the internet. So, that's covered in this video, how to solve PFSense buffer blow with the code, anyway, code Q, FQ, code limiter in 2.4.4. Uh, also, also. Um, you cannot adjust the WAN in this methodology shown in this video unless you, I think, are 2.4 or higher. I actually, when I was running through this test, I was actually back on 2.3, so it wouldn't work. I had to go update my system to 2.4. I think it's actually 2.4.5 now or something. Uh, but you need to update it to the latest or near latest. Otherwise, you cannot uh, actually change the LAN on this. So, um, so that's an interesting idea to go, but, but now what I basically have for the moment is I'm kind of doing 10 and five or 10 and I think I'm doing 10 and five on my private land, which is most of my network. Um, and that means everyone has the same size pipe in that. 
And then what I've done is, and I think, and then I've done it on my public network. So I have a, my, like I said, the Wi-Fi out there where all my, you know, Alexas are connected to, the phones are connected to, guests who come to my house, we give them that password. Uh, they're connected to that. And that one's more open and free. So I'd, I think I put that one like a two and a one temporarily. But um, no matter where this, and this may solve my billing problem. It may not. Because like I said, people can still watch a bunch of videos. They could watch that. It still doesn't limit, you know, I'm still could go over but i'm gonna do this as a first run to see if i can lower it without affecting everyone's usage too much and see if i can lower my bills i mean not go with the data cap but you know i still may pay and just go full fledged and get unlimited data um but that was a button here huh um i think what i'm going to do no matter what even if i do go and get the unlimited plan and get gigabit ethernet and just go hog wild i don't like the idea of someone on my public network because I have two, abusing my network. So I think no matter what, I'm always from now on going to limit my public network. Maybe give everyone a 10-2 or something like that, no matter how fast I am. Now, a 10-2 to any, any individual is fine. They're great. That's a lot of bandwidth. But it would be uh, a bummer to someone to come over to my house and abuse the privilege and just start saturating my network. So it's kind of a nice idea to say everyone has a limit. So anyway, uh, this has been a really good... Uh, I like this. I think... So, like I said, on some aspects that I'm going to use, even if I get unlimited, uh, my public. But we'll see uh, the next 15 days if this can actually cut my network usage down enough so I can fall under my data cap um, and not have to pay those fees. Thanks for watching. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a like. To subscribe, just click the subscribe button. Also, you can follow me on Twitter under the handle at whiteboardcoder.com. View any code I may have thrown up as a gist uh, at GitHub under the username Patman Denver, or check out my blog site at whiteboardcoder.com.